to get him, Lair. Got him. Oh, got him. You got a <laughs> decent one. I guess so, but man, that's a nice fish. Hey, folks, the major difference between an average fisherman and a great fisherman is the ability to find fish. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors, and today I'm fishing with Chris Grow. We're gonna talk about how to find fish in a lake that you haven't fished before, and hopefully catch some bass in the meantime. So Chris, I know this is a new body of water for you. What do you look for when you when you get on a, a new lake, especially during fall time? Especially in fall time is a key word there. Uh, like what we came out of over there, we, we kind of got excited because it was kind of a little dead end bottleneck, deep water nearby, we saw bait flickering. So new body of water, I like to look in the backs of little tiny creeks, little tiny pockets, because that bait is trying to get back there, and you know it's following him. You're using a jig, you're using a topwater, and what else? And then kind of like you were throwing chatter bait and spinner bait. Those are kind of the same. We're just trying to cover Covering water. Covering water until the fish tell us something to do, you know, what they want, you know? Uh, we haven't, we've only got a tiny, tiny clue, so we need to keep working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a big one. Look at this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You felt that one right away. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Look at the fight on that one. Wow. Oh, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a big one, dude. That's a huge one. Oh, man. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Look at that jig is out of his yeah. mouth. Look at the nice, <laughs> nice fish, buddy. We whittled through how many little ones to get to this one? I know. I think this one ate a few of the ones we caught too. <laughs> but, or uh, it could. Jeez, that's a nice fish. What do you nice think that's? Five and a half? Oh, let's let's put a measure on it. Oh, we can. We got yep. a bubble scale. We got a bubble scale. And what'd you catch that on? That on a Berkeley on finesse Berkeley jig. Jig. Half yeah. inch, half, half, half ounce with go. a checker crow. Five, Five pounds five. on the head. Nice. Look at him, Lair. Ain't that little. What are you talking about? <laughs> Compared to yours. Well, I mean, still, <laughs> we're going to win the tournament now. That's a, what are you talking about? Swing that puppy. Get him in here, Larry. All right, we've been working the entire lake. Now we found him in this patch of really nice weed and wood right on the north shoreline here. Got him on a slobber knocker with the trailer. So Chris, one of the big, one of the big things about fishing and finding fish is making sure you're using a couple of different types of lures, right? 100%. It's nice that we're going at him with the one-two punch. What are you throwing there, Larry? I got the slobber knocker which is more of a, a chatterbait type of, of lure, and you're doing the jig thing, right? I just figure, you know what I mean? We're still in the same family, bladed jig, regular jig. Um, you're catching some quality fish. I'm slowing down and seeming to catch a couple bigger ones, but if we were in a tournament situation or even just having fun with your buddies, we're definitely putting a bag together, sir. That's right. So. And I'm covering more water. You're doing more of a slow finesse presentation with that. And I still think the slobber knocker could catch one of them giants still. It's just, do you know what I mean? It's just being in the right place in the right time. And there you go. It's coming up by you, Noah. It's right here. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> right by him. I'm gonna boat flopper. Here we go. Boom. Oh man! Another five. Look at that. Berkeley finesse jig. When it gets cold, I start with a finesse jig. Because what I like to do is when I pop it, I want a lot of vertical presentation. I want that, that jig to fall on slack line. Then once it gets colder and colder, I increase the size of the jig and start moving it slower. But that was so cool. No, I saw it coming under the boat and jump by the camera. Did you get it? You got that jump. You got a good one? Better one. Oh yeah, you do, do, do. Come here. He's gonna jump in your hand. Oh, he just got me. There we go. Beauty. Nice, Slayer. I love the way you guys can just grab him too. <laughs> grab him. I, grab him. Look at that, Lair. Oh, I got one. Got Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> you set your rod down. Yeah, Larry! <laughs> Bring him in. <laughs> Woo! Cheers for him. Cheers. Bumps, baby! You got him. That's a better one. I got one too. 
Yours is bigger. <laughs> He's mad at you. He is. I don't know why. He's trying to be nice. Let's grab him. Let's be nice to this fatty. Oh, come here. You know what they're trying to do? You want to break my rod soon is what he wants to do. You know when they eat it, Larry. <laughs> what Bravo. a Hey, what a way to end it, Chris. <laughs> you know it. When you want to find fish, do a couple of different things. Make sure you're using different baits to cover different bodies of water. And make sure you cover a lot of water too. And always fish with this guy. It's always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but Someone who's knowledgeable about this. Ah, you, you, you have no idea. But like you said, what we're doing is we're covering all areas of the water column. You're throwing the Berkeley slobber knocker. I'm flipping a finesse jig and uh, it's been a pretty good one two punch. It sure has. Heck Folks, yeah. more Midwest Outdoors is right around the corner. I want to thank Chris Grohl for joining me. I'm Larry Ladowski. We'll catch you later.